All right, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office doing a recording for my periodontist, Dr. Frederick Norkin of Boca Raton as well. And it is a bone level implant case on an Ernestine's case. And basically what we're here now with uh, the final impression is coming up for teeth numbers uh, three and four. And their regular contour RC uh, uh, bone level from Strauman. So I've already removed the first uh, healing uh, abutment and I'm going to go ahead and deposit that. Much of what I do with uh, our implants immediately we go in and suction uh, the area. Now there might be some debris within the implant body itself so I'm going to use chlorhexidine gluconate and we'll go ahead and suction that out. This is uh, the site of number four. And notice there's an amazing tissue response here uh, that is a, uh, a true sign of, of how these have integrated so well. And being a platform switching concept, now the accepted norm, I want to say more, for more and more cases, uh, about a year and a half ago, if you said bone level, Everybody thought one thing and Strama. Now you say bone level, and that's other people are using it for other brands. And um, so, really, that's called platform switching. So, here's my first abutment. Uh, I'm going to try this, and uh, we've given her some anesthesia. And this hopefully will expand enough for Ernestine. Do you feel that at all, Ernestine? Does that bother you? No? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try to tighten this down. Hold up. These are custom abutments that I make um, for the impression coping. Excuse me. And we'll just start to slowly tighten that down. Let's see if that goes. And all right. I'm manipulating the microscope so. Everyone can see what we're doing. I'm just going to hand tighten gently. And then after we hand tighten these in place, uh, then we'll join them together. And I'll show you that technique as I used in the past. So it's starting to engage. I can feel it go into place mirror. White, please. Okay. And you can see the expansion going on now, the tissue. Not much, but enough. Uh, you can see it start to blanch a little bit, both buccal, lingual, and interproximally. So, mm, looks like we've got plenty of room, plenty of space for our technicians to go in and modify their custom abutments uh, within the confines of the impression coping. So that's where the computers take over and uh, give us a, little, a nicer result um, with the shape. So we want to go as outside that area and give the, uh, the technicians the ability to, to build within a, a good uh, parameter for bicuspid and that of a molar. So we'll hand tighten a little bit more. You're feeling that a little bit. All right, so we may numb her a little bit more now that it's starting to compress. Actually, you're okay, um, Ernestine? You okay? You're feeling a little bit, right? Okay. Want me to numb you a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a little anesthetic. It won't be much, much anesthetic. We'll do that, and then we'll come right back to, to what we're doing, okay? We'll catch everybody on.